Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we're going to be doing a Downtown Disney update because uh, we haven't done one since last week. I haven't even been to the park this week. I've been to Universal on Sunday. I went to the outlet store yesterday. Uh, I've just been sick and I'm trying to get better and, you know, I'm trying my best not to get worse because, you know, right now the weather is like all over the place. It's cold, it's rainy, it's hot, it's all over the place. But anyways, I found our first update for Downtown Disney and it's right behind me. So as you guys can see, there's a new photo op over here in Downtown Disney. This is located right next to, well, it's like right across from like the security checkpoint by the Disneyland Resort, or Disneyland Hotel, sorry, which allows you to enter to Downtown Disney. But this thing is cool. It says 2024 Pixar Fest, celebrating friendship and beyond. Now, I'm not going to lie. I found another photo op, which I think is a little bit cooler, which is located right by, it's between Earl of, Sa Earl of Sandwich and uh, World of Disney, which I'll show you guys later on when we get to that area, uh, that side of Downtown Disney. But as usual, we're going to start on this side, Downtown Disney, which is the uh, Star Wars, Star Wars, trading post side and then we're going to end it over there by uh i think we're in the video today in the, in the esplanade because there's something pretty interesting over there i want to show you guys but anyways you guys can see we're now at the star wars trading post well sort of we're actually outside we're actually not gonna be going inside because what i wanted to show you guys is outside it's at this little like stand so they have the uh sands of tattooing collection they have the spear jersey lounge fly bag and ears which i'll show you guys in better detail Spirit jerseys, uh, it's okay. I don't know. It's all right. Like this wouldn't be one I would like run down here to get or anything. I'd probably skip on this one. Uh, they do have in size extra small to a 2XL. And as far as pricing goes, let's see if we can find a price. It doesn't say. Um, then the launch white bag. I do like this. Launch white bag's kind of cool. I like how the zippers are like rose gold or like copper. That part's pretty cool. And it's got this little like pocket right here where you can hold a pair of ears, which is, you know, for these. But let me show you guys the lining inside. Trying to do this without dropping it because if it falls out here, it's going to hit the concrete. Okay, I like the inside. It's cool. And then as far as pricing goes, this one is $78. But besides the launch fly bag, they also have the ears, like I mentioned, and these are pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, I was talking to the cast member about these. I was like, "What do you, what do you think is nice, the launch fly bag or the ears?" And she was saying that the ears are nicer because apparently they sell more of these. And then also she mentioned that on the ears themselves, it's embroidered, which is really cool. It's not printed on there or anything like that. It's an actual embroider. And then even the uh, the bow feels nice. It's like velvety. And then these are made by Launch Fly, which are cool. You know the qualities are gonna be there. See. Star Wars Lounge Fly. And then just like the zipper on the backpack, the side over here on the Lounge Fly oh, Disney or Star Wars tag is like rose gold, which is nice. And then if I'm not mistaken, I believe these are $44.99. That's usually what a pair of Lounge Fly ears costs. And yeah, $44.99. So we just left the well the front of Star Wars Trading Post because like I said, we're not gonna go inside today because according to the cast member, there's nothing really new in there, and I trust her. She she's usually the one that helps me every time I come down here. Uh, well, in, as far as this store, anyways, but uh, if you guys are looking for that Sands of Tatooine, Sands of Tatooine merch, you guys know where to find it. It's like right outside of Star Wars Trading Post. But like I mentioned, I haven't really been to the Disneyland Resort this week, so we missed pin release day, which was Tuesday. So we're gonna go to Pin Traders next and show you guys the latest pins of this week. So here in the What's New section of Pin Traders, here's what's new: one pin for the week. It's a cool pin though, at least, but it kind of sucks. It's only one pin, but. Better than none. I think it was like two weeks ago we got no new pins at all, so at least we got one. We got this uh, Timon and Pumbaa themed character scoops pin, limited edition. This one is $19.99. Now we only got one new limited edition pin, but there's like two new open edition pins. Let me go show you guys those. They're actually outside in this little like stands right here. So we got a new Moana pin. Which is pretty cool if you look at this like, like the if you compare it to like the size of my hand it's a pretty big pen and like i said it's open edition so it's a little bit cheaper it's 17.99 and then they have this encanto pen this one's also 17.99 so before we leave pin traders entirely uh, i don't know if you guys know this or not but pin traders is not just a store for pins they also have magic bands they have hats they have sometimes they have like spare jerseys and they also have ears. So sometimes if you can't find ears like in World of Disney or even Disneyland, sometimes come to 
pin traders and and they might have what you're looking for see because as far as like newer ears they have the disney munchling ears they have the tomorrowland ears they have the pirates of the caribbean ears these the uh, lion king ears they have those ears they have the graduation ears over here the hat they have these ears which are fairly new and then they have these ears as well but anyways now we're gonna head to the disney dress shop because remember how i showed you guys that uh snow white collection that was i think it was kate spade well, they didn't have everything. I think they, only, I think they only had like three pieces, but now they have a few more things in. So let me go show you guys the rest of the collection. Well, also really quick before we head to Disney Dress Shop, I want to show you guys. Tia Joe's is officially closed. See, it's closed over here. There's signs saying that something new is coming. And then over here on the Taqueria side, it's also closed. There's no tables or anything. Oh, there's a couple tables, but I'm sure they're going to remove those. But there's no more chairs out here. They still have the umbrellas, but like I said, nobody's dining out here anymore because they're closed. And then here's a close-up of the sign. So something new and exciting coming soon. Downtown Disney District. I'm curious to see what's exciting and new that's coming. I really don't know. I mean, I'm sure they have lists of stuff that's coming, but I, I just haven't kept up with it. But I'm excited to see. But anyways, we just made it inside of the Disney Dress Shop. Uh, last time we are here, like I mentioned, I showed you guys a, a little bit of the K-Spade collection or whatever they had in stock at the moment. I uh, showed you guys this backpack right here, which I know that's a little fuzzy, but this backpack... I showed you guys this tote bag and then this like crossbody bag or purse or whatever. But now they have a few more items like this, which, oh, is this like a clutch purse? I'm not really sure. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. I'm really not sure. I'm not like the expert on bags or whatever, but <laughs> they have this one. It's very heavy too. It's $398. Jeez. It's a crossbody bag. This is a 3D mirror crossbody bag. And the front looks really cool too. Look at that. That's awesome. I see why, it's, you know, the price it is. And then as far as the inside, let's see if I can open this without dropping it. Yeah, see, there goes the strap, which makes it a crossbody. And yeah, it's a really cool bag. I mean, it's more of like an art piece in my opinion, but close okay wait won't close okay that was way too hard to do with one hand so i had to use both hands i put the camera down but anyways they also have this wallet there's the back here's the front it's got a little zipper part here bitten apple or poison apple and as far as price goes let's see if i can find the price for this it's probably in this little like cardboard tag thing uh, okay no it's not Okay, let me put the camera down again and try to find a price for you guys. Okay, that took me way too long to find, but uh, it looks like it's $138 USD. If you're from Canada, it's $178. And then lastly, they have this little like card holder. This is, no way, this is $98. That is crazy. I mean, look at this, there's like not much here. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, the art's nice. And I'm sure Case is a really good company. I don't know, I don't buy this stuff, but <laughs> but just for what you're getting for the price, sheesh. But besides the Kate Spade collection, which I just finished showing you guys, they also have one piece of the new Dooney and Burke collection, which is themed to It's a Small World. So I believe this is the latest addition to the Dooney and Burke line. See, it says It's a Small World. This looks like the purse, I believe. And then as far as pricing goes, it is $228. And as you guys can see, that's the only piece they have right now is like this purse crossbody bag thing. And it even says new arrival, this just in. So we just left the Disney dress shop and that was basically everything new I was able to find in that store. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the Dooney and Burke line. I thought it was cool. I just want to see like the rest of the, the line. I know usually like the tote bags or whatever, they have a, a, obviously it's themed to the same print, but it's a little bit different usually. Or there's usually like one bag is a little bit different than the rest. So I want to see that bag. <laughs> But anyways, now we're over here by Paseo or Centrico and then also the Tiendita. If you guys are not sure where I'm standing right now, there used to be a huge construction wall here and now it came down, I believe on Monday. See, so, like they're currently like kind of setting up and then also I think that today they're gonna do like a practice run or something. They're not gonna like serve food to people or anything like that, but just they're gonna practice with the employees. But it's cool, they even have a fire going on and everything and, and it just looks really nice here, I like it. They even have like alcohol already like in the display thing over there. Probably can't see it because not zoomed in all the way, but it's right there. And like I said, this is Centrico. And then they also have the uh, Tiendita, which is like the quick serve. If you guys want to sit down and enjoy your food here, you can just come pick up. 
and then either walk around or go home with it. And if you want to sit down and enjoy your meal here, you can go to Paseo, which I think you'd be seated up here. So before we head to like our last like merch shop, I guess you could say, uh, which is World of Disney, I wanted to show you guys another look at the old location for Disney Dress Shop. So still doesn't like much has changed. The sign is still covered up. Windows are still blacked out and they still have that little sign telling you where the new dress shop location is. But like I said, I have a, I have a small feeling that this might be Wonderground Gallery. I'm not 100% sure though. That's just my, uh, my guess. I could be wrong, but we'll find out as soon as these doors finally open up again or until they unveil the sign. So right now we're standing in front of the entrance to World of Disney and this is the side closest to Earl Sandwich Tavern. I know the sun's blowing it out, but if you go between those two areas, you'll see this giant like double door gate thing, which is, it's like an entrance to DCA, but we're not allowed to do it here. But look at this like photo op. This thing is sick. 2024 Pixar Fest, Disneyland Resort, and it's got a bunch of characters on there. Russell, Doug, the aliens, Wally, Rat or not Ratatouille, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. The seagulls from Finding Nemo, Eve, uh, Lamental, you know, a bunch of characters. Incredibles. I like the sign though, it's really nice. Or this uh, photo op, it's pretty cool. But now we've made our way inside of World of Disney, and do you guys remember this pretty cool hat? Well, now they have like a pop socket, like card holder thing to match that. See, they have the hat. And then here's the pop socket, like card holder thing. Or it's a phone wallet plus, you know. So connection on your phone to like MagSafe for the magnets or whatever. This one's $26.99 and like, this is a sick pop socket. It's a peace sign. Mickey's hand doing that peace sign. The only thing I don't like is it's like rubberized. I'm not a fan of that. I like when they're metal, but it's still pretty cool. And for $26.99, I guess it's not too bad. Oh no, sorry, it's $29.99. I don't know where I got the six from, but it's 30 bucks minus your discount if you have one. And they have them here in room one by the entrance of World of Disney. Stay. So still in room one, if you guys are looking for the Sands of Tatooine merchandise, they have it here as well. This is like in the Star Wars section of World of Disney. And like I showed you guys at the Star Wars Trading Post, they have the ears, the spirit jersey behind these other two spirit jerseys. And then they have the launch fly bag. Wow, that just fell. And then, as usual, here's a look at the ear wall near the entrance. Basically, all these ears are old. I've shown you guys in the past, but the newest ones that are on the wall itself are probably these. These have not been on this wall before. The Fisk Caballero ears. These are $44.99. The bow is removable, and I believe the ears are glow in the dark. So now we're in room two, and I don't usually look in the Marvel section here, but I saw this Avengers water bottle, which I thought was pretty cool. It actually caught my eye because of how bright it was. It's got the Avenger logo, it's got this like rubber like cover on it, and then this one's $34.99. But that was basically everything I was able to find in room two. Now we're in room three in the uh, Lion King section. So I'm not really sure how new these are, but I know I've never seen them before. These are $64.99. They have some Lion King Crocs. The colors are actually pretty nice. They really pop, they all go together really well. Kind of like it. I wouldn't wear them myself because I'm not a croc person, but the colors are cool. And then they have a bunch in stock. Here's something else I feel like I've never seen before. They also have this uh, fanny pack. It's got a lot of the characters from Lion King, including Scar. Um, here's a look at the strap. As far as pricing goes, it is $29.99. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan when like merch has like embroidery on it. Uh, this this hoodie I'm gonna show you guys has like a print. It's a print and embroidery on it. It's pretty cool. Now, if only this sweater or this hoodie was black with everything else going on on it, this would be the perfect sweater in my opinion. But like, see, the background's like a screen print, and then the characters themselves, including the writing, that's all embroidered, which is really nice. They have the sweater in sizes extra small to a two X. Looks like they have one two X, but they have a two X, and it retails for. $59.99 and then like always we should check the back just in case there's something cool on the back as well and sadly there isn't and then besides that I also showed you guys this bag I forgot what day I can't remember if it was last week but it had to be had to have been last week I just can't remember what day but I showed you guys this backpack in uh the Emporium and I couldn't show you guys the lining inside because for whatever reason they like security tagged the zipper closed so now I can show you guys the lining inside and also I can tell you guys that they have this backpack here at World of Disney as well and I'm sure they still have it in the park but I've been waiting to show you guys the lining inside. 
I mean, I, I technically saw it last time. It was like, I think it was like bugs and stuff, but here's like the good way to show you guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Besides that lounge fly bag in room three, now we're in room four where there's not a whole lot going on, but I did want to let you guys know that the, the Wish merchandise is still 40% off. Here's what they currently have. They have ears, lounge fly wallet, bag, spirit jerseys. They have bucket hats, kid stuff, plushes plushy shoes <laughs> for the house they have looks like a shoulder buddy shoulder plush whatever you want to call it more plushes little backpack so they still have a lot of pretty good stuff in stock you know i know people usually go for like ears on my bags and spare jerseys and stuff like that but yeah so they have all that stuff here still and select which items are 40 percent off and now for room five so i can't remember who or when but i was asked if this sweater was in stock here where the disney and looks like they do have it in stock they have them from sizes extra small to a 3x and they have it here in room five on this little like movable rack so just in case you're looking for it check room five uh, i saw that they have like the teal or the green one in room three on the same type of rack this one is 69.99 ears now i'm gonna show you guys the ear wall in room five they have basically all the same ears I've already shown you guys in the past. Nothing new, nothing fancy, nothing special really. Uh, I think the latest ears on this wall is probably these jasmine ears, but that's about it. They've already had the, the bell ears, the princess ears, the Norway ears, the Moana ears, Snow White ears. So all this stuff is like old. The newest ones are the jasmine ears. But as far as hats go, I want to say this hat is new. I'm not 100% sure, but they have a Captain America hat, which I feel like I've never seen before. It's even got like the little wings or whatever on the back. Kind of cool. This one is, oh, the bottom's red. And then if I'm not mistaken, I think this one is, yeah, it's $29.99. Then like I showed you guys earlier at Pin Traders, only one pin was released this week and they do have it here at Walt Disney as well. It's the Disney character scoops and this one's themed to Timon and Pumbaa. So you guys know it's like hot or whatever. I think right now it's like mosquito season, if I'm not mistaken. But if you guys are at home, you guys are being attacked by mosquitoes and you guys need like a Centronella candle and you guys want to look cool about, you know, doing that, uh, they have a Mickey shaped Centronella candle. It smells funny, but everything's cooler when it's Mickey shaped. Uh, this one is $39.99. And then as far as the mug wall goes, there's not really anything new on the mug wall. I feel like I've seen all these before. I think probably the latest one is the Darth Maul mug, but that's probably about it. Uh, I know there's a lot of restocks like this one. That one's been restocked. I think this one's been restocked. This one, I think it's old as well. This one's restocked, I believe. But this got to be your one. This one's $19.99. But now we're like in the new up merchandise section and there's some pretty good stuff that, that's uh, restocked. I'm gonna show you guys. They have the light up house, which I fell in love with it. I just, man, 50 bucks for a light is a lot, but it is pretty cool. And they have, it looks like they have one, two, six on the floor right now. They still have tons of the corkscrew bottles. They still have tons of these like grape soda sippers. Uh, they have tons of the launch white bags in stock and something that like sold out and finally seems like it came back in and, and with pretty good quantity are the ears. People have been looking for the ears and they do have them here. They're room five, way at the back. Basically like right next to the exit, so. Tons of ears. But that's basically it for World of Disney. So just on World of Disney and usually around this time I'd be ending the video like right here. I usually end it like leaning up against that little fence thing. But like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna end the video at the Esplanade. So I'm sure you're asking yourselves like, Paul, what, do you, what is it you wanna show us in the Esplanade? Uh, this sign is what I've been waiting to show you guys. Totally kidding. That's what I've been waiting to show you guys. You see that giant construction wall there and this like thing right there that's erect? <laughs> that's what I wanted to show you guys. I'll give you guys a better look right now though. So I'm gonna stand a little bit back so I can show you guys a little bit over the wall. Like you can see the Luxo ball there. Obviously we're not done with it, whatever this is. I'm sure it's gonna be like more decorations coming up soon. Uh, Pixar Fest is next week, so whatever uh, is going to be happening here, is, we're going to be seeing it soon. Because like I said, the uh, event's next week, I believe, on Friday, on the 26th. And then if you walk up closer to the wall, you'll see that the wall's pretty decorated too. There's like little aliens. Looks like they're peeking out of the wall, which is pretty cool. And there's also a 2024 Pixar Fest celebrating Friendship and Beyond sign right there. And then you see the little aliens peeking out, which is kind of cool. Well, I hope that was worth the wait. <laughs> but yeah, that was what I was want I wanted to show you guys at the Esplanade. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.